have an amazing opportunity to hear from Jonathan Nez, the president of the Navajo Nation. He has graciously taken his time to deliver a message about the importance of resiliency, combating negativity, and being inspired to improve our lives and the lives of others, much like the Navajo Code Talkers in World War II. Enjoy this learning opportunity. Yeah, this is uh, Jonathan Nez, Navajo Nation president. Wanted to uh, appreciate our young Marines uh, throughout the country. And thank you to Sophia Wrighthouse, uh, Sergeant Major of the Southern California Regiment, Miramara Young Marines. Thank you so much for the invitation to do this uh, virtual message to our young Marines throughout the country. Uh, my name is Jonathan Nez. My clans are Ashindo Tatnesani, Pudichini, Dashachido, Tachini, Dashanella. And, uh, you know, this year we weren't able to come together. I know many of you have uh, come to Winter Rock for the National Navajo Code Talkers Day events. And last Friday, we honored our Navajo Code Talkers. Because of COVID 19, we were unable to meet and have a bigger festival in honoring of our Navajo Code Talkers. Um, but, you know, we did our very best. We did a virtual recognition of our Navajo code talkers here, the four that are still with us. And we also honored uh, those that have passed and of course their descendants for, you know, their resilience and hard work. And I just wanted to focus young Marines on the resilience part of it. See, our Navajo code, code talkers fought in many battles in World War II and they never gave up. And so the message that I wanna share with you today is that same resilience teaching that has been handed down for many generations. Don't give up. We are all overcome, all overcomers. I'm sure many of us have some trying times, but let us uh, encourage you to not give up. Whatever you uh, put your mind uh, to, you can accomplish uh, great things. And plus, we got to also push our way from all the negativity out there. The negativity of social media, uh, comments and, and even drugs and alcohol you know that's not good for us and, and not good for the family as well and we want to encourage you and to inspire to reach your full potential and now you I know you will uh, young Marines and you know with the Navajo code talkers they went through some uh, adversity as you know they utilized the Navajo language to uh, win many battles and guess what generals presidents have said, if it wasn't for the Navajo Code Talkers, we would have not won World War II. And so utilizing that resilience and many of the Navajo people that are listening today as well, you know, always remember that the Navajo people and tribes throughout the country have contributed greatly to the freedoms of this country. And let us use that as inspiration to do better in our lives, to do better for ourselves, for our families, for our community, and for our nations out there. And so young Marines, we thank you for the hard work that you have done every year that you have been here in Winter Rock to help celebrate and honor our Navajo Code Talkers. I know that this virus will one day uh, have a vaccine and we may be coming back to some normalcy in the future after this vaccine. So I'm hopeful that we will come together next year in 2021 to honor and recognize the contributions of the Nav Navajo Code Talkers. And next year during Na National Navajo Code Talkers Day, we will celebrate once again here in our Navajo Nation capital, the resilience of those code talkers and we appreciate those descendants and utilizing that leadership role you can utilize in everyday activities and everyday work uh, for yourself and for your family and for your communities as well so we on behalf of the uh, navajo nation uh, young marines we continue to say to you reach for the stars reach those goals, and I know you can accomplish great things. God bless you. God bless this country, the United States of America, and God bless the Navajo Nation. Thank you so much.